Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually put F1 wheels on almost any car. And this is currently working. The glitch is not that simple and it does require a friend. So the requirements for this is that you will need a nightclub and there needs to be a terabyte in that nightclub. You will also need the arena on the workshop level and you will need to have an F1 vehicle in there. You will also need access to the Los Santos car meet and you will need a bike, just any bike will do. And lastly, you will need an MOC with this third bay configured as a personal vehicle storage. Now you have to have all those requirements because they are essential to the glitch. Please do drop a like on this video if you think you like doing this glitch. I think a lot of people have been waiting for this, especially on PC. Now a gentle reminder, this does not work on consoles because consoles just save differently. For those of you who are new to this channel, I hope you'll be able to click on subscribe, not only to support this channel, but to get notified of more content and updates. Now, once you're ready, let's get down to the glitch. So to start off, be with your friend in the Los Santos car meet, and you should have a bike in there. It can be any bike. I'm just using an old modded Sanchez that I have. So what your friend will need to do is to AFK on this bike while you are doing the first few steps of the glitch. Once your friend is on the bike, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to head towards your nightclub. Do remember that you do not use a personal vehicle to get to your nightclub. So you can use a CEO vehicle or you can do a job teleport to the nightclub. Now when you actually reach the nightclub, you will need to go into the terabyte garage. Now if you're like me, due to some past glitches you have done, your terabyte is not at the terabyte garage. All you have to do is just to go to the garage level that your current terabyte is sitting in. Now for me, that would be level three. So once you're inside, head towards your terabyte and then press F to enter the vehicle. Once you're inside the vehicle, you will have the option to press E to go into the vehicle workshop but don't press that yet. Now when you do press E, wait 2 seconds and then press P for the pause menu. Alright, here we go. Press E, 1, 2, pause. Now over here, all you have to do is to exit the pause menu and then press F to exit the vehicle as well. What you do not want to see is the upgrade menu popping up. So once that is done, we proceed to the next part of the glitch and that is to make your way over to the arena. Again, do not use a personal vehicle, just use a CEO vehicle or do a quick job teleport. Once you are at the arena, just quickly make your way to the workshop level where your donor F1 vehicle should be. So here's my F1 vehicle. Now what you want to do is to get into the vehicle and then use it to block the door, therefore effectively blocking one side of the vehicle exit. After you have done that, just go into another vehicle and use it to block the other side of your vehicle. Now do a little test. So go near your F1 vehicle and press F and you should be able to enter the vehicle without any animation. Now move closer to the exit and what you are going to do here is to exit the arena and go into the vehicle at the same time. So that means exiting and pressing F at the same time. You should be able to try this as many times as you like until you spawn outside with the vehicle. So if you have succeeded, you should spawn outside and the next step will be calling your mechanic to bring the car that you want your F1 wheels on. Just a warning here, do not do these on nightclub vehicles or special vehicles or even planes for the time being as I cannot guarantee that they won't get stuck in the MOC later. So once you have called the car that you want F1 wheels on, you start counting to 10 and then ask your friend to get off the bike. So it starts like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10. Your friend should get off the bike and the bike should disappear in front of them. Now at this point in time, you'll have to wait for the mechanic to call you back to tell you that he cannot deliver your vehicle. And only after that, you'll be able to call in your MOC. But what you can do first is to make your way to the nearest LS Customs and wait for the mechanic to call. So the mechanic will call you and tell you that he cannot deliver the vehicle. And after his call, you will be able to call in your MOC. And that would be the next step. So I'll try to call in the MOC the moment I reach LS Customs. Now open up your interaction menu, go to services and then call in your MOC. It should spawn nearby. Now at this point we need the MOC to do a temporary save simply because LS Customs will not allow you to go in with this vehicle. So drive towards your MOC once it has spawned and then proceed to enter the blue circle at the back. Once you've spawned inside the MOC, the only other thing you need to do is to go back into the vehicle and then drive it out. Now head back towards LS Customs since now you will be able to access that. So once you're inside LS Customs, navigate to the wheel section and buy the type of F1 rims that you want for your vehicle. After you have chosen your rims, and you should also go to tire design and buy the kind of tire design that you want. So at this point of the glitch, only items that you actually buy now will get transferred over to your target vehicle. So you don't really need anything else from the F1 vehicle except for the rims and the tire design. Everything else like wheel colors or bulletproof tires can be bought later on, as with any vehicle. Now once you're done with that, you can just exit LS Customs, and the glitch is done. So in order to see the F1 wheels on your target vehicle, what you will need to do next is to go to Creator Mode, and then come back to an online session. Now I will be explaining certain things when you come back into an online session, just to let you know why certain things happen. So now that you have come back into an online session, you find that a lot of your mods were gone. Of course the wheels were there, but the colors changed, and the vehicle looks sort of clean without any mods. This is just a side effect. Your original mods and upgrades on the vehicle have not disappeared. This is just how the game is. So don't go directly into LS Customs and start spending your hard-earned money buying back all the mods, because they are still there, assuming that you already bought them of course. Now instead of going in and buying all those missing mods and upgrades, what you should do is to actually fully exit the game. Once you come back in after the exit, you should be able to see your vehicle with the F1 wheels and with all its original mods still there. So this is what I'm going to show you, and I'll see you shortly after I log back in. So after exiting the game and coming back into an online session, I go back to the car and all its original mods are still there. And that is the glitch. Although this is not as simple as what we have done before in the past, and it is not solo, this glitch can still help you get the F1 wheels that you want on PC. Again, I have to say this, it does not work on console, it will just make you lose your target car. Alright, so remember to like this video if it has helped you. And do subscribe because I have more similar videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.